。对住在下加利福尼亚的民众来说，这样的车潮就是他们通勤的日常，高达二十万人每天在美墨边境来回穿梭。It's a lot of people commuting who actually live in Mexico, who actually work in the states. So it's like. It's thousands and thousands of people just crossing daily. It's a lot of people. 每年有大批的墨西哥民众挤破头想进美国讨生活，但大批美国民众却抢着搬到墨西哥生活。目前大约有八十万的美国人居住在墨西哥。For our one-bedroom apartment in North Hollywood, we are paying sixteen hundred a month. And that was just for the rent alone. And there we had a car, so that included car insurance and car payment and all of those kinds of things that you have to pay for. And so, just the rent alone, we're paying half of that. 在疫情过后，远距离工作的方式就让高达百分之六十二的民众萌生去其他国家生活的想法。尤其加州的居民更是因为受不了高房价，纷纷决心出走。加州房价的中位数将近八十万美元，也就是将近台币两千四百万。根据二零二一年第四季的调查，只有百分之二十五的加州民众能负担这种高房价。We moved in November of 2020, so it was still kind of like in the thick of COVID-19 and the pandemic before the vaccines. So our rent is about 850 U.S. dollars a month,、um, which includes two bedrooms, three bathrooms, a music studio for David.、Uh, we have a pool and a clubhouse area, 24-hour security with a guard at a gate. 这样的生活物价很难不让加州人心动。除了德州、亚利桑那等邻近的区域，墨西哥就成为不少加州民众的好选择。What's the options, right? What Kansas,、uh, you know, Utah, whatever. I mean, really, it's、uh, the options aren't that great. I mean, especially if you're from California. Here in Baja, we offer a more affordable alternative, bigger prices, and what a lot of people. Tend to say is that we have a, a better quality of life. You know, there's no traffic, there's sunny days, there's beautiful beaches. 这些搬到墨西哥生活的美国民众，除了看上便宜的房价以及更好的生活品质，也希望能获得花费更低的医疗照护。美国的医疗保险费用高得吓人，但医疗品质在十亿个收入最高的国家当中却是掉车位。在墨西哥就能用更便宜的价格接受更好的医疗服务。I went to an allergist in LA and was told. I was not, did not have enough money to afford the allergy shots that I actually needed, and well, that was one of the first appointments I made in Mexico was with an allergist and a dermatologist. And not only can I afford allergy shots here, but like my allergist coordinates with the dermatologist who coordinates with our primary care physician. 也因此，就算可能每天都因为通勤要卡在车站当中，史密斯还是决心搬到十四公里外的墨西哥体华纳生活。I still work in the states. I'm a coach over at a community college, and all of my business is in the states. So I commute daily, back and forth. It's easy getting into Mexico. It's just the difficult part, getting out of Mexico, which can take hours. But I learned if I could just commute by foot. It drops my commute time at least by two hours. 为了挽救大量流失的外移人潮，去年州长纽森也签署重返加州计划，准备砸下两百二十亿美元打造社会宅。但目前美国通膨情况持续恶化，恐怕更多人被迫远离家园。邻近的墨西哥将成为加州人的第二故乡。TVBS 新闻综合报道。